That's enough water in there. How about we put it in the other one? Don't spray your sister. So it's been a few days now, guys, that I've made a video. Well, really, it's been way over a week. But I wanted to show you what we started doing with moving chickens through the yard. just moved the chickens from this spot where you can see that they've already matted the grass down pretty well and there's plenty of manure you can see that was yesterday's spot the day before is this area now one thing on this is this area was already pretty bare so I don't want you to feel like the chickens are going to just completely destroy your yard but you can see the clear progression one two three and the grass definitely got yellowed let's uh make no mistake about that however what's going to end up happening is they're loosening the soil making sure that it doesn't get compacted and then they're going to go ahead and fertilize the soil as well one thing that I've already noticed just in the three days that we've gone ahead and been moving the chickens around the yard is that the chicken cons feed consumption has been way down. It's been almost a quarter of what they normally consume. So that's great now that they can be saving me on the feed bill, but they're also giving nutrients in the grass into the eggs. Hey, big boy. Did you come to help daddy with the chickens? You're an outdoor man for sure. Look at that smile. Let's take this out. Hey, can you give me a smile? Look at that smile! So today I picked up two large planters from my work. They're clearing out and updating some things around their model home and they were just getting rid of these so haven't ever really been able to create a full-fledged garden because i just don't have a whole lot of sunlight all these beautiful trees that create privacy in my backyard also obviously block out the sun so we're going to give that a go we'll be able to keep it close to the back door that way as my wife is cooking she can go out there clip a few herbs off for whatever meal she needs and go from there. So you can see these are pretty good size but the problem is they don't have any holes for drainage so we're gonna fix that right now. So we're gonna take these they're just um, well let's see what they're made out of. Doesn't say but it does say drill here. Super easy. Like a pretty easy. Why is it pretty easy? So guys, I picked up some garden soil from my local big box store. We're gonna go ahead and get these planters filled up.
have actually worked out way better than anticipated. I was figuring that because of the size of these, that it'd probably take two bags of guard soil per pot. But as you can see, only needs one. Yeah. As you can see, we had a little bit of leftover from the garden plot earlier this year. So we'll just go ahead and finish out what we have. Not sure where Little Miss is going. Hey, Amberlynn, let's finish putting all this in there, okay? Do you want to just pick the bag up and pour it, baby? Yeah. No? Thanks for helping. Good job. Look at how big and strong you are. Good job. Yeah, we need more. More? Yeah, look. Well, we better go to the truck to get some then, Judah. Let's go get it. Oh yes, of course. We can't forget the shovel. Yeah. All right. So let's go finish putting the rest of this bag into the pot. You got a shovel too, Judah? No, I have the way. All right. I have the way. I'm cutting everything down. All right, Judah. Can you help lift this up? Oh, I need you to lift my shovel. Okay, we're gonna let Emberlyn do the first ceremonial. Go ahead. The first ceremonial scoop with her shovel, and then we're gonna pour the rest in. Emberlyn. Dad, I want to... All right. Good job. All right, Judy, you're going to do a ceremonial scoop. All right. Here, let's go ahead and pour the rest in. All right. Oh, you forgot your shovel. Get the shovel. All right. Okay, guys, so you can see that I chose to use the Stay Green flower, vegetable, and garden soil. Thank you, Emberlyn. And I don't really have any experience with it, but there's a lot of potting soils that say for in-ground use only so make sure if you're going to do one with a container like what I'm doing that you're using one that's approved for that and if you guys have any other recommendations of really good soil that you're going to actually grow things that you're going to eat out of let me know in the comments below come on let's take it back to the house you got it yeah it's a long driveway Definitely one of the perks of living in a suburban area is that we have trash pickup. And definitely doesn't hurt to have a little bit of exercise to wear a little bit out before she goes to bed. Hey Amberlynn, we gotta go get all those bags of potting mix and put them in the trash. All of them. Mm. All right. Can you throw them in the trash can? Sure. Yeah. more. I found mm. more. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Good. Can you throw it in there? Sure. Good job. Give me five five. All right. Now that we have the potting mix in those pots, need you your guys' help with knowing what we should put in there. Already, we've got plenty of parsley that's starting to come up, but it's in a good sized pot for what it is. So we're gonna leave that in there. And then from a few weeks ago, we had planted this little garden. We've got just a couple, one, two, three peppers, and I'm not really sure what happened to the onions or the oregano. Those seeds were pretty small, so watering is not always the most delicate thing that's happened over here. So I wouldn't put it past them to have pushed those out. So maybe these will be our new pepper pots. We'll see.